Today we're looking at a discontinued Spyderco model. This is the Janisong. Okay, this was designed by Michael Janich. If you're not familiar with him, he is a, uh, a huge part of basically knife history. He's been very involved with the knife industry for many, many years, designed a bunch of stuff. I've had books and DVD sets with him demonstrating all kinds of knife defense tactics and I mean, you name it. He's very much part of the knife community and has been for probably 30 plus years now. So back in the day, <laughs> I don't know exactly what year it was, uh, but this uh, model came out through Spyderco. It was long discontinued now, but it was also a version made by Blackhawk Knives, okay, which was much cheaper, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. So what this design is, is kind of a combination between a folding knife and a balisong. Really interesting. Uh, by the way, you can see this little insert here. Because of the nature of its mechanical function, the Janisong cannot be legally imported into the United States. Janisong knives must not, under any circumstances, be returned to Spyderco's U.S. headquarters. So in addition to being discontinued and already making it kind of rare, it's even more rare in the U.S. because of those shipping uh, restrictions. The people who have these mostly are just collectors. They've been sitting in safes and boxes, not being touched. In fact, more times than not, when you see these for sale, they're brand new in the box. This one obviously was open from the plastic, but has not been used. This one is still new. So this is how it works. You can see it looks like a Foley knife. Okay, there's a switch in the middle of the handle. It's on both sides. This is a locking mechanism. This keeps the blade and other parts inside the handle. Okay, so it will not open. Uh, when you disengage it, you can use both fingers, pull them both down, or you know, pull one side or the other. It doesn't really make a difference. It all works. Once you disengage it, okay, that's when <laughs> the interesting stuff starts to happen. So before I can go over what's going on there, I want to talk about a traditional butterfly knife or balisong design. All right, for the people who are not familiar, this is a knife that has two handles that rotate around the blade. It's known as the safe handle. The reason for that is because there's only two things that are going to come in contact with your hand while holding it. The back of the blade or the other handle. Now this handle here that usually has the latch is known as the bite handle. The reason it's called a bite handle is because the two things that can come in contact with your hand while flipping is the other handle or the edge of the blade, in which case you would get bit or cut. So what Michael Janish decided to do was create a design that you could not get bit. So he took a two handle knife design and put one inside the other, okay? So the idea here is this is your bite handle, but you're not touching the bite handle anytime, you're only manipulating the safe handle. So in flipping this knife, this will touch your hand. Okay, coming back, the back of the blade will touch your hand, but you cannot get your hand in between this handle and that edge. But it can be a little weird at first to people who are used to flipping a bow song or butterfly knife, especially if you do different moves that you are touching and manipulating this second handle. Because essentially all you have is this design so that you can't hold this handle. Everything's done from the safe handle. So super interesting uh, design overall. And of course, again, once this is open, you can manipulate that lock to lock it in the open position, and there is no blade play at all. Interesting uh, blade shape. Overall, I think the knife is ugly. <laughs> I wish they did some other variants through Spyderco. I actually like the blade profile more on the Blackhawk version, okay? Now, this one is in S30V. If I zoom in, you can see the markings here on the tang. Okay, Spyderco CPM S30V. And I believe the Blackhawk version of this knife uh, was much more affordable when it first came out, and that was in uh, D2. All right. As far as price on these, uh, it's going to be all over the place. Right now, I think there's one on eBay for like $350. I saw another one for $550. I would say for a brand new one, mint condition, it's probably around the four to $500 range. Really just depends on how bad you want one and whoever has it, what they want to get for it. Okay, but like a lot of old uh, discontinued models, specifically Spider Co's as well, highly collectible. So the prices are just crazy. They're all over the place. There's no real way to give a, a value on this. It's basically whatever you're willing to pay for it. Now taking a closer look here at the pocket clip, you can see that it does have the logo on the front there, but it's a deep concealed clip and it's also swappable to the other side. In fact, when I got this new, it was mounted on this side here, but I wanted to change the orientation to this side so that it was on the back of my hand. Okay, being a righty, I wanted this to swing open from the left, okay? Because if you notice, this is how I'm used to opening it, very simple rotation here. But if it was flipped down the other way, my hand would be in the way, it would not be able to open. Okay, so I just changed the uh, position of that clip for 
my own preference on uh, orientation when opening it. So thanks for watching guys. And again, a huge thank you to the person who sent this for me to check out. Like I said before, I don't really do loaners, but I made an exception here because it's such an interesting piece. Um, was interested in some different things and who knows, maybe you know we'll still work something out as far as the tray goes. But also I want to thank him because he included this in the package, some Reaper jerky. Never had this before, he said it's super hot, super delicious. So stay tuned because I will do a separate tasting on that in the future. So that's it. If you guys have seen the Janus song before, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, but yeah, these will pop up occasionally. But if you are interested in this particular design, you have to do some treasure hunting and dig around on the forums and just really keep your eyes peeled on places like eBay. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.